This was the third and final chapter in the panel's report on climate change. The message is clear. The world must cut its reliance on coal and oil and make a massive switch to renewable energy such as wind power. The report is the result of intense negotiations, some call it a clash of interests, between politics and science. It offers reasons for hope, but also some stark warnings. The longer we delay, uh, the higher would be the cost. I mean, that's something which is very clear. But despite that, the point I'm making is that uh, even now, uh, the cost is not something that's going to bring about a major disruption of economic systems. It's well within our reach. Global surface temperatures are predicted to rise by up to 4.8 degrees Celsius by 2100 if no action is taken. The IPCC target is to keep the rise to 2 degrees, regarded as the point beyond which dangerous impacts of climate change will be felt. To achieve that, carbon emissions will need to be cut by between 40% and 70% by 2050. Environmental campaigners lobbying the talks welcomed the report and urged world leaders to act on its recommendations. There is certainly hope. This is the strong message of this report, that we have the solutions, we have still time to prevent dangerous climate change, and it's not going to cost us money, it's actually going to save us money. But there are still many sceptics alarmed at the costs involved. Tough negotiations are ahead if agreement is to be reached on a global pact to curb greenhouse gases by the end of next year. Harry Smith, Al Jazeera.